on Tom Clancy's The Division. Today, you are going to find yourself in New York, where a weaponized virus has been released during the crush of Black Friday sales. But before your journey begins, here are a few tips to help you survive and enjoy this experience. Our game is a cover-based shooter, which means you're an easy target if you stay out in the open. Move from cover to cover by pressing space and protect yourself during combat. Your character can equip up to three weapons, a primary, a secondary, as well as a sidearm. Press one if you want to use your primary weapon, two for your secondary weapon, and three for your handgun. Our game is an RPG, and as such, skills will make all the difference in combat. Your character can equip up to two skills, and you can switch them out whenever you feel like changing playstyle. To equip your skills, open the main menu, go into the abilities section, and press space to assign your skills to Q and E on your keyboard. This might sting a little. Hey, we're just getting started. If you want to surprise your enemy from long range, using grenades is a great idea. Use a grenade by pushing the G key, and once you've set its trajectory, left click to throw it and wait for the blast. If you're running low on health, you can use medkits to get a quick health boost before going back into the fight. To use a medkit, press V on your keyboard. The world map is an augmented reality tool that you can use to explore our open world. You can open it at any time by pressing the M key. Whether it's a main mission, a side mission, or just to explore, you can mark your next waypoint by right-clicking on it with your mouse. This is under siege from whatever criminals have taken over Madison Square Garden. We don't have numbers. Okay, Agent, now you know the basics to stay alive, but remember, if you want to gear up with some of the best loot in the game, you'll want to venture into the dark zone. Be careful out there, and good luck.